Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to hang up even a very heavy rug. Again, this is 12 feet wide by 18 feet long. It's wet, it's extremely heavy, weighs hundreds of pounds. I can show you how to hang it by using leverage, using the easy tar. So here we go. Again, this rug is too long to actually fit on here um, over one pole because this is six feet tall. Two times six is 12, right? That means we're gonna have six feet hanging over. I'm gonna show you how to hang it easily. One man over two poles. So here we go. Again, very heavy. And we're just gonna, this is gonna be a hard part right here. Just getting it over top of the, over top of this pole in the low position. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to make sure I straighten this out a little bit. And I'm going to go up one, one run. We're going up 18 inches right there. Now I avoid walking on the rug if I can help it. Now I'm going to go up 36 inches. You see, one man's doing this. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, because I'm going to end up on two poles, I'm going to pull this rug over more so there's just six feet hanging off on the back end. There we go. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it. I love these things. These things make my job easy. I'm going to give it a clamp here. I'm going to give it a second one just in case. Same thing on the other side. <clears throat> and up we go. Up one more. There we go. We're at the top ladder. <clears throat> up to the top ladder. There we go. And I'm going to move it over towards the back here. There we go. Get close to this other set of rugs. Move the back side. Again, see how it's standing up nice and straight? See how that 2x4 stands straight? That's what you want to see. Now, I'm going to get another pole. Here's our second pole. We're on right here. And then I'm going to grab hold of the end of this rug and I'm going to pull it over. Oh, there we go. And, well, I'm going to do a little adjusting here. There we go. Clamp it down here. Give another clamp. Make sure that's nice and that's gonna work good there. Yeah, there we go. Then the clamp here, just hold it together. And I'm gonna start lifting this up because we want to get it right off the floor. I'll throw another clamp on here just in case. Don't want it falling down while it's drying. When we have all the fans on, it can uh, blow pretty darn good. There we go, and um, and then the rug's wet underneath. We'll want to dry it fast. Take one of these old boys here on his back, turn it on. It'll blow up inside the rug. Plus, take a look up here. Ceiling fans. Those ceiling fans are my tip to you. Even if you don't get an easy tar, get yourself some of these ceiling fans. These are tremendous. They're called uh, Hampton Bay. You get them from Home Depot for um, 89 bucks each. And they blow like crazy. These, um, we love them. And they hardly use any power. That's my tip to you. Make sure whatever you do in your shop uses less power. Remember, you're paying the electric bill. You're paying the gas bill. 
Unlike when you're a carpet cleaner or restorer, you're not paying those. That's on someone else's dime. This is on your dime. You need to make it efficient. That's what the easy tire is all about. When you get the rug hanging up, you can dry it a lot quicker, a lot easier, with a lot less power. And that, my friend, is going to put more money in your pocket. So again, this is Dusty here to help you get more out of rugs. If you have any questions at all, send me a text. Send me an email. My number for texting is 250-580-7847. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.